Guys, so in this video, we're going to go over Shopify niche research. So if you probably already watched my last video on how to actually I talked on the niche research, still watch this video because I'm going to drop new value and great content for you guys, all right? I want to also shout out everyone on my Shopify dropshipping course, and I want to also do a special shout out for everyone in my course already making money. For example, yesterday, Azan, I'm going to do a special a shout out to Azan that shared in the Facebook group how he made his first sale, his first ad. So the first time he ran an ad, he was already making money. I want to shout out to him. He actually like bought the course, uh, was in the course probably one week ago, and he pretty much started that day. So actually it was kind of like he made money the first day because he was taking like one week finding influencers. And he got contacted by like probably two, but they were charging him a little bit too much. So I told him, you know what, Azan, don't pay for the influencers right now because you haven't found that winning product for your niche. So I always suggest people to go with influencers to first because you can actually test products. But if the influencers are charging you a little bit too high, you can actually go to Facebook and test. So he actually ran his first ad. I gave him a, you know, alignment and I told him, you know what, change this, change that because he showed me his screenshot and his interest and how he was targeting. I told him to change a little bit of things and he made his first sale. He, he actually told, yo, you know, he's sharing the group, yo, I just got my first sale. And the best part is that it happened while I was taking, I was sleeping. <laughs> he was taking actually a nap, a nap and then he woke up and he made a sale. So he was super excited. Like he, like he felt like it was, and now he exactly knows where it came from and now he's going to 10x it. So shout out to him. Thank you so much. He said it was the, first, the best course he's taken. He said, thank you so much, Andre. Thank you. You're welcome, Hassan. It's a pleasure to help you out. So let's go dive right into the, in the video. All right, guys. So first, I want to tell you that first to find a niche. So you got to do a brainstorm. I'm going to go in depth in these parts and then product research. Uh, I put product research because I do think that product research is inside niche research. All right. Obviously, I teach it in my course in two different parts because there's really criteria to follow to find a profitable uh, product but it should be inside the niche research. Why? Because if you cannot find products, then that niche is not a good niche for you. All right, so first you gotta do brainstorming. So what am I talking about brainstorming? Brainstorming actually is a, a is something that you need to do uh, to find a niche. Because you cannot just go to them and sell iPhone cases because that was the first thing that came to your mind. Brainstorm, guys. Brainstorm. There's so much ideas. Uh, there's so many things you can do. There's so many categories you can go. That you can just, if you do, you spend like probably two, three days brainstorming, you can find the best niche for you. And also, if you get in my course, I'm gonna help you brainstorm. For example, yesterday uh, I have a, a student called uh, Alex. Shout out to Alex too, also. Uh, Alex was in my, in my, is in my course, and he actually, you know, uh, gave me pretty much ideas. And I told him, you know what, is, uh, Alex, don't do this one. And then he started, we started brainstorming. So he told me, you know, what, what do you think about doing this? And I told him, you know what, that's that's pretty, that's pretty good. Uh, maybe you can actually do this and so we started brainstorming together for a couple of minutes and then he got up with a, a pretty uh, good a niche that now he's gonna test because I go in my course how to actually test before spending money so and let's see how it goes and let's see if it's actually a profitable niche so you gotta brainstorm brainstorm by yourself with someone else I mean you can get in my course brainstorm with me also uh, you can pretty much see things around you brainstorm think about things you love that you're passionate about and brainstorm after that, you're gonna go to product research. So, uh, how do you, how do you actually do product research? It's funny because one of our one of my students told me, <coughs> "Hey, you know what? In your last video, you said what gurus teach teach you, and actually, you know what? I bought one course, and in that course, they you they taught me exactly what you you said under not to do. And it's funny because I mean I don't know why there's courses, and I'm not gonna say the name of the course." Okay, because I do, uh, he taught uh, that he bought and he said they, they taught him the wrong way. So I'm gonna use the same niche I did on my last video to do this kind of kind of quick or the quickest possible. So I went to the twin niche, right? So twin clothes or twin, yeah, twin clothing for babies. So when you have to do your brainstorming, make sure your niche has products. Why do I say product uh, research should be inside niche research? Or it should be a criteria to find a whole store. You spend, you, I mean, you run, you pay the domain, which is not that much either. It's like a couple of dollars. Uh, but so if you spend money, you spend money on ads, and then you know what? That product does not sell. What are you gonna do? Nothing, because you only have a couple of products or products, different types of product for that one niche. Okay, so that's gonna let you because if you only sell one product, that person is going to buy, and then they won't come back because they don't have anything else to sell. 
instead if you have a lot of products they're gonna be able to know you know what I bought this product I like it let me go back to that same store and buy something else so now in this we we saw a lot of things and we saw that there's a lot of cute stuff that you can actually use and also there's a, a opportunity to build a brand which I do love a lot when you find a niche if there's opportunity I do like this and in, in my case I'm not saying this is the only way to find a niche but that's how I find profitable niches and that's how I base my stores on all right so make sure you check out my book and also make sure to like comment and subscribe this video guys thank you so much for watching all right so I'm not finished in this video <laughs> so you can actually there's an opportunity to uh, to create a brand right so in my last video, I'm gonna I'm gonna call this you know the twin house or something like that so you can actually see that uh, there's products I mean this product costs okay I was blue pro uh, what's it says I was surprised I was planned to. <laughs> so that's super funny. Uh, so this this costs two forty four. So when you do your uh, your product research, you need to see if there's profit, if there's demand, and there's competition. The competition you can find by going to Google, but the uh, the profit I showed you how to find it. We're gonna go to Amazon. After you go to Amazon, you're gonna see if what the pricing. If the pricing is a lot higher than the actual price on AliExpress, this means you can actually put that price, the Amazon price, and get a profit. So let's put like baby twin. All right, baby. When I do a lot of things at a time, guys, I mean my it just lags a little bit. I think I got, I need to buy another laptop. Uh, all right, clothes. <coughs> all right, guys. So uh, baby twin clothes. We're gonna go here. I like when you guys actually can see me. I like smiling to the camera. So there's a lot of things. I mean, I'm, I should probably uh, search T-shirts, but let's see. All right. So you can actually see how they're selling products for $24.99. I mean, that's incredible. I said that on my last video. It's lagging a little bit. It's lagging a little bit, but that's fine. So you can actually see this T-shirt, guys, is $24.99, and people are buying it. People like it. So what this means is that you can actually make profit. So if you go back to AliExpress. You can see that the products are costing 244 uh, plus one, so that that's like 344, 344 oh, euros. I, I gotta change it, but imagine it's like the max is five dollars because this one is uh, uh, 344. Right, this one's six. Uh, this one is uh, 653. The e-packet is free. Always check that it has e-packet, guys. All right, make sure it has e-packet. Uh, then we have right here, uh, well, that's not for twins, but this one also, it's two eight fifty eight for the e-bag. It's probably like $3. So everything costs around probably 3 to, let's say, $7, all right? But imagine, guys, you can sell those products for $24.99 right here, or $22.95, or maybe $22.99, or $19.99. You're still making a lot of profit. That's pretty good profit. I mean, that's $10 in profit right there. So that's pretty much that's pretty good. If you sell ten of these t-shirts, you're already making a hundred dollars of profit, and you can actually sell it for more. Create a brand that's gonna like. So if there's a demand. You can actually use your, your common sense for this. You can. There's every, obviously a demand. So let's and there's competition. You gotta search that. If there's too much, it's not saturated. I mean, I have I, there's not a top of mind for twin clothing. All right. Then next groups. Why I'm saying groups? I'm saying groups because this is a cool way to actually tell if you can target your audience. So. Instead of saying that the product re or the niche research is groups, I'm going to say the question to actually a criteria is, can you target that niche? That is super important, guys. So the question is, can you target that niche? So if you cannot target the niche, that is not a good niche. And how are you going to be able to target by Facebook interest? So a cool thing you actually, I can actually can do is go to, uh, go try to do it. You don't have to do the ads, but go to the ad manager and try to create an ad and see the interest. If I go, for example, to, I don't know, uh, I'm going to create a, a, a dumb uh, thing, right? Just plain bracelets. I'm not going to, I'm not saying like for a specific niche, but plain like pink, I want to sell this pink bracelet. How about, I, oh, I can actually, but uh, I just, I just want to make it a dumb idea, but people that love forks, <laughs> all right? So imagine you want to sell products for fork, right? Fork lovers. I mean, I love forks, all right? So something like that. How, are you going to be able to target people? No, because there's not uh Instagram pages for fork lovers. I mean, I know that's a super dumb example, but you get the idea, right? People are not going to buy that. You're not going to be able to target people. Instead, if you go, for example, super, I think, saturated now, pit bull uh, niche, you're going to be a pit bulls, you know, pit bull owners, uh, you know, pit bull magazines, pit bull. You can target a lot of things. So if you can actually be able to target, how are you going to be actually to tell? Go to Facebook groups 
and see if there's groups. I'm not saying there has to be groups because some niches simply don't have groups, but they're still targetable, if you can call it that way. All right, guys? So make sure you're gonna be able to target because if you can find the best, there's gonna be products. You can be, you know, the niche could be amazing niche. There can be profit. There's a demand. But if you cannot be able to target through Instagram or through uh, Facebook, that's probably not a good niche because you're not gonna be able to scale. All right, guys? So third and last, influencers in general. Can you make shout outs? Okay, so I criteria I really, uh, I really want you to know is that, can you actually find influence? Go to Instagram, search, is there's a lot of Instagram with big pages. Because I saw, for example, one of my students told me, yeah, you know, there's Instagram. He screenshot it to me, he sent it to me, and I was like, yeah, but they only have like a few followers, right? You need Instagram influencers that have big, like probably 10K, 100K, right? And if you can find bigger ones, that's a lot better. Like there's, Instagram, there's uh, uh, for example, there's niches that there's Instagram influencers or Instagram pages, right? Not necessarily influencers, right? Pages for shout outs that have like 1 million uh, followers. And this does not have to be necessary influencers from uh, Instagram, but it, it really like it, it's better. Like try to find, and obviously I do suggest sincerely that you find uh, niches that have Instagram pages. Also that have Facebook, for example, groups or uh, influencers or also YouTube influencers. I have one YouTube influencer that markets my products. I mean, nobody talks about this and I'm gonna give you a golden nugget right here. Uh, there's influencers all over internet, all over any social media. There's on Facebook, there's on YouTube, there's on uh, Instagram. So, I mean, if you cannot find an Instagram, I'm sorry, if you can find Instagram uh, influencers on Instagram, right? <laughs> Instagram. Uh, you can actually just also go to YouTube, see if there's YouTubers on that niche that you can probably send them a product. I mean, and that's pretty much, you can actually get free marketing, right? So that's pretty much it, guys. Obviously, there's pretty much uh, other things into it, but this is pretty much a lot, and this is going to help you a ton. So make sure, guys, you follow these criteria. Find a niche that, all right, brainstorm. After you brainstorm, find out a niche that has products on it, a variety of product that can, you can make profit. You can go to Amazon and double check if you can actually uh, make a profit, then go to groups if you can target. And more than just seeing those groups, is it targetable? Is that niche targeted? Are you going to be able to target your audience? Right? And then influencers. Is there influencers on Instagram? Those are big pages that you can actually pay them for shout outs. So thank you so much, guys. And thank you for the people that just tell me, you know, <laughs> Andre. I mean, there's a lot of people, not, not just one. There's a lot of people telling me, Andre, I get a lot more value on your YouTube videos than what the course, than the, in the courses that I paid for. And that's super. And I'm like, wow, do you actually think I provide more value on my videos than other courses? Imagine the value you can get in my course. So remember guys, if you want to learn step by step and want to get my guidance and my one-on-one -on -one support, I'm going to leave the link on the description below. Thank you so much for watching guys. Thank you so much for following my journey. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. Click that red button below and also make sure you, that you hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like and I hope to see you on the next video guys. Love you guys. Bye.